today's training tip is all about ball proofing your shoulders. So why we need to do this. Now, especially for a lot of you, especially in lockdown and working from home, we're in this rounded shoulders position on the computer or we're on our phone. So that we're in that posture for a long period of time. And when you go and try to train, you'll end up getting shoulder pain. So I'm going to show you four exercises. You don't need any equipment to build proof your shoulders and make them stronger. So you can prevent that shoulder pain and also help, able to hold your shoulders back in that proper posture position, like so. All right, so stay tuned for the next four exercises. Right, so the first exercise I'm gonna show you is on, uh, on our stomach. So find a, a mat or a tail where you can rest your head comfortably, but in that neutral position so your head's not rocking forward or sitting up like so. Now once that's set, set your elbows out away from your body at 90 degrees. Want your thumbs facing towards the roof. And all you're gonna do is lift your forearms off the ground. So lifting up, squeeze your shoulder blades, a small pause for a couple of seconds, and repeat. So you can see here, the arms and my head represent the letter W. So we're targeting the rear delts or your shoulders, but also especially through your traps. So it's that muscle that runs down the middle from your back, from your neck. Now the second exercise I'm showing you, it's in the same position on the ground. So you're going to lie down in the same position. Instead of from 90, you put your arms out full extended. So your shoulders, and your body represent the letter T. Again, thumbs facing towards the roof, and then from there, lifting up. Again, focusing on squeezing the shoulder blades again a little bit, and back down. So again, you're targeting a little bit higher up on your traps, but still targeting the back of the shoulders. Now the third exercise is in the same position as the previous two exercises I've shown you. So lying down on the ground. So from here, we were in our T formation. We're going to move our arms now into a sort of Y formation. Same principles, thumbs facing towards the roof. And then from there, lifting up. And down, we're going to breathe out every time you lift and release. Right, now again, this is targeting more on the shoulders, like so. So, again, you see the arms are in a Y formation to hit those uh, rear shoulder areas. All right, the fourth exercise is against the wall, but I'm going to do it in two parts. The first one, we're going to do it standing. So setting up for this one is find your wall space, then probably about a half a foot forward, pull your elbows back into the wall, so representing what you call as a, a seated row position. So the form is here, is you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades or we retract the shoulder blades. We're going to keep your chest high, and open in your neck and chin nice and neutral. And then you're gonna squeeze that, you're gonna hold that for about 10 seconds, and then release. All right, so again, pull the elbows into the wall, squeeze the shoulder blades, chest prayer, looking forward, and repeat. Now the second one, simulating what you do throughout the day, working from your desk. Now, like I said, against the wall, you can do this against the back of the chair. So what you can do here, pull your elbows back into the back of the chair. Your back's a little bit away from the chair. And again, the same principles apply. So pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades, looking forward, chest proud, and repeat that about 10, 15 seconds and relax 
like so. So again, like I said, pull the elbows back in that sit of row position, retract the shoulders, hold, and repeat. So there's no reason why you can't do that at your desk. 